Hey everyone, welcome back. This is CC Cycle 2, memory work ideas for week seven. We are here already getting ready to start our first week of our second quarter for the year. Can't believe that, but here we go. For week seven math, we are skip counting the 13s. And so the song for this is kind of a slow swing, kind of makes me want to just sway back and forth. So we are going to sway from side to side. And then while we do that, we're going to pretend like we are rocking babies. Uh, you could do different things for different repetitions. You can bounce the baby. You can hold the baby up here as you sing. But uh, we're going to pretend that we're rocking babies as we skip count singing to the tune for the 13s. Okay, for uh, English, we have our possessive pronoun adjectives. And so these are very similar to the possessive pronouns that we did last week. They are my, your, his, her, it's, our, your, and their. And in the song, it's possessive adjectives, my, your, his, her, it's, our, your, their because that's where it starts taking going up into the next tune. So, so far we have nominative pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Objective pronouns, me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. Possessive pronouns, mine, yours, his, hers, it's, ours, yours, theirs. This week, possessive adjectives, my, your, his, her, it's, our, your, their starts going up from there because next week we change the tune for the next part of the song which is reflexive pronouns myself yourself okay i digress uh so that is our english this week possessive adjectives and we will just add that on to our chicken dance song for history tell me about the reformation we are going to use motions for this lots of asl motions as usual so we have for 15, 17, we're going to do the signs for 15, 17. So 15 is just taking your hand like this and waving it this way twice. So 15, 17 is shaking your hand like this. This is six, seven. So we're gonna take our seven and shake it like this. So 15, 17, Martin Luther, we're gonna do an M and an L, Martin Luther. And when we say Protestant Reformation, we're gonna do the sign for Protestant. And then Reformation, we would take two R's and kind of go like that to show Reformation. I have the littles this year. And so even if you don't have the littles, I think it's more fun to kind of do like turn around, turn your whole body around like you're just having a Reformation, a change. So we're going to do the Protestant Reformation. So we'll turn all the way around when we say that part of the song. And... Then we have printing. When we say printing, we're going to be just coming back from turning around in the circle. So printing will be ready to do this. This is the ASL sign for printing. And then when we say Pope Leo X, we're going to make this shape of the Pope's hat. So Pope Leo X, that part goes a little bit fast. So we're not going to do a P and an L and try to do the sign for 10. You could do 10th, but it goes so fast. We're just going to do Pope Leo X. And then we're going to go straight into excommunicated. So this is kind of the Roman numeral 10. Uh, so that kind of looks like that. So Pope Leo the 10th excommunicated him at later. When we do later, we're going to do later John Calvin. We're going to do a C and then we're going to, he joined the Reformation. So we're going to take that C like it's joining along and we're going to go around in a circle again as we move our C to the music. Uh, once you play the music, all these motions can kind of, you'll kind of get into it. You'll see how they flow together. But all together, once again, it's 1517, Martin Luther uh, began the Protestant. So Protestant Reformation. We're going to turn around. I can't do that because I'm sitting. But Reformation, printing the 95. Oh, I think I skipped that in my first explanation. 95 is, this is a 9, and then to do 95, we turn it. This is a 5, and this is a 9. So 95. We're going to do 95 theses that made Pope Leo X excommunicate. Then later John Calvin 
And then we're, when we say join the revolution, we're going to be, uh, join the reformation, we're going to be turning around in our reformation circle. That is history. Um, I hope that came together somewhat understandable, but those are the motions that we're going to be using. For Latin, we're moving on to the first conjugation endings in perfect tense. So when we say first conjugations, perfect tense, we're going to make the sign for perfect, which is to hold up two hands like this and move them forward. Perfect. All right, so that is what we'll do when we introduce it. And of course, the sound is E is the it, emis is the parent. And so when we do E, when we sing it, we're going to go E is the it. And then when we switch to emis is this errant, we're going to break out I and rock that back and forth. Emis is this errant. And um, first conjugation, perfect tense. And so we will use our hands. E is the it. Emis is this errant. Remind us that we make the E sound for the first one, for the I. It sounds like an E. And then emis is this errant is the I sound of I. So. Uh, that is how we will do Latin. For timeline, we have our timeline motion. So we start with Jesus the Messiah. Anytime we refer to Jesus and Christianity, we um, do our hands like this, representing the nails in his hands. So Jesus the Messiah. When we say Messiah, uh, we're going to do this sash of royalty. So we're going to take our M for Messiah and bring it down like a sash. Okay, so Jesus the Messiah. Then we have the Pentecost. Oh, after that, it says one year, one AD. So we'll just hold up a one every time we say it. Then we have the Pentecost and the early church. So for that, we do our, we point to our mouths and we put flames up representing the tongues of flames of the Pentecost and uh, the early church. So we're going to make our hand like a rock and we're going to do the sign a C for church. So Pentecost and the early church. Then we have persecution spreads the gospel. For that, we're going to do the sign for persecution, like fighting is happening. Um, or you could actually do fists if you wanted to, but on the timeline for classical conversations, it does it this way. So persecution spreads the gospel. The gospel, we make a G. So you take your thumb and your pointer finger, and then we do it like we're turning the pages of the gospel. Take that G to turn the pages. So persecution spreads the gospel. Then we have Herod's temple destroyed by Titus, T for Titus. So when we do temple, we'll put a T like the church, same way we did the church, but just a T instead. So Herod's temple destroyed by Titus. Then we have Diocletian. We're going to make a D. Diocletian divides the Roman Empire. Then this is an R for Roman Empire. Then we have Constantine, we make a C, Constantine legalizes Christianity, same sign that we started with. And the last one is India's Gupta dynasty. So you point to your ear and you do the sign for gold. So India's Gupta dynasty. And that is all of our timeline motions. For geography, we are learning about all of the European peninsulas, and I thought it would be fitting to sing this to the tune of Down by the Bay because we're talking about waters and that kind of thing. Uh, so it sounds like this. I am changing the order just a little bit because I want it to flow well with the way that we'll be going over the map in class with my littles. And we're going to probably start up here with the Scandinavian Peninsula, go down to the Iberian, then the Apennine, and then over to the Balkan. That way it kind of flows a little bit more seamlessly when we're pointing it out together as a class. So it is Scandinavian Peninsula, Iberian Peninsula, Apennine Peninsula, Balkan Peninsula, all surrounded by water on three sides. These are four European Peninsulas, Scandinavian Peninsula, Iberian Peninsula, Apennine Peninsula, Balkan Peninsula. That is how we will do our geography. All right. And last but not least, we have science. And for science this week, we are learning what are six forms of pollution. And I'm just going to put this to the tune of the Adams family. It sounds like this. What are six forms of pollution? Six forms of pollution are 
noise and air, water and land, thermal and radioactive. Okay, and that is all of our science. Okay, that's all of our memory work for week seven. I feel like that was a lot this week. Uh, in terms of ideas for things to get into this week that would make memory work a little bit more enhanced, uh, I have a long list of ideas today. So I am just going to start with our typicals, which is our Louis Giglio Indescribable Devotional. Those you can do page 36. Uh, that is about the sun. And since we'll be doing sun prints and science this week, that will be a great one to read. Another one for um, this week out of that devotional, if you are using that, would be page 200, which is about pollution. And so those would be two great devotions to read out of our indescribable devotional. Obviously, our timeline cards and our old world echoes. Old world echoes looks like this. Obviously, week seven readings out of this book. And then moving on to some read alouds, you could definitely get some great books from the library this week about the sun, about pollution. A couple that I had on one of the lists that I found, The Sun is Kind of a Big Deal. That's the name of one of them. And then also related to uh, pollution, What Happens to Our Trash is another good book that you could look up. Running on Sunshine, How Does Solar Energy Work? Uh, those are all books that could be interesting for this week. Then moving on to some types of videos and things like that that you could watch this week. Captain Planet is a online thing that you could view and all the episodes of Captain Planet have to do with pollution and caring for our planet. So you could check that out, Captain Planet. All those episodes. Magic School Bus definitely has uh, some episodes on pollution and taking care. And so that one is season three, episode 13. And that you can find online. I think Netflix has a lot of the magic school buses. Then we also have Cat in the Hat and they have a couple different series that cover um, being clean with our earth and then water. So uh, season one, episode 35, and then season two, episode 17. The first one is about pollution, super cleaner uppers, and itsy bitsy water. Uh, those are all about pollution. And then the second one, season two, episode 13, that's called The Paper Chase, and that's about recycling. So those would be two from The Cat in the Hat. Of course, Bill Nye has lots on garbage, um, human transportation, pollution. And then Torchlighters is a movie uh, or a series that we could watch. Um, and they have one about the Martin Luther story. So you could watch Torchlighters. They have that on Amazon Prime. It's season one, episode 15. And then a couple other movies that might be fun to watch. You'll have to fill this out, which is appropriate for your family, but Fern Gully and then also Wally. -E, and those are both related to pollution. For some food ideas this week, I just Googled uh, Scandinavian foods and some of the different foods for the different peninsulas that we're studying in geography this week. And so think Ikea, uh, think Swedish foods, Swedish meatballs. I thought it would be fun to do some, uh, a smorgasbord of different things. You could have pickled foods, cured or smoked salmons. Um, princess cake is another popular one for Scandinavian types foods. Uh, but pick any of those peninsulas and you could really just Google those foods. Those are just some of the ones that I think would be fun. Swedish meatballs might be a good idea for this week. I think that is everything. Lots of ideas for this week. This is a longer video than usual, but I hope that it's helpful. I hope that I've covered everything. If you have any questions as usual, please don't hesitate to let me know. And I look forward to seeing you all for week eight. Have a great week. Bye.